So in this video here today, we will demonstrate how a uh, Amazon AWS BPC acts like a router. And to see that, uh, you would spin up two EC2 instances, uh, and both of them are going to be in different availability zone. So the first one here is in availability zone 1A, and the second one is in availability zone 1F that would ensure that they are on different subnets. So this one has got 172.31.84.9 and the other one has 172.31.70.98. Two different subnets, two different availability zone and two different availability zones means two different physical data centers. So we just spin up two EC2 instances without spinning up any router. The VPC itself is a router. <clears throat> so let's see how that works. We have console into both of them. And we will see how they could ping each other. And if not, what is required. So if you do IP, if config on this one, is IP is 172. 317098. You can copy that. And his is 849. So he should be able to ping the other one. I do paste. And he is. And his IP is 849. Copy that. And he's not able to ping at the other one. Let's see why. So he's able to ping the other one, but not the other way around. And that's most likely because security group with each one of them is not permitting ICMP. So let's look at the security group. On this guy is permitting only SSH, so let's permit ICMP, all ICMP, all addresses for now, say rule, go to the other one, security, he's got the ICMP, let's we got the other one that needs to be his he's got the ICMP as well so that's why he was able to ping so now see he was not able to ping five transmitted hundred second person packet drop now he should be able to ping there you go so you can see they're sitting on different subnets. As long as you can get the security group enabled for ICMP, you would be able to ping each other and your VPC basically acts as a router. Now, when we're talking about that, you would also look at the VPC subnet where this subnet VPC comes with a default CIDR 172.31 and these are the available subnets in it and the route table would be single for each VPC and if you look at that route table it has routes which is all 172.31 all the subnets in 172.31 slash 16 compare that to the subnets again you got one, two, three, four, five subnets in this VPC, all of them are com covered in this route table. So your VPC does act like a router. And here's the subnet associations. All of them are by default associated, explicit association. Without explicit, sorry. And this is implicit. So now if you look at the 
routes here, you will see only the CIDR route. If you want to access the internet, you can add a quad zero to a gateway that you can spin up here. And that way you will have the route table going to the internet. This route table is really your routing uh, for the VPC. So this is how your VPC routes for the EC2 instances of the cells.